When President Obama said on June 4th, now and forever, your freedom is ours, Romania will never stand alone. He gave Romanians a chance for a century of peace and prosperity. But President Obama said something else to the Romanian people. You have to hold your government accountable to lift you up, not push you down. And America can't impose this. It must come from within. As great as the external threats are to Romania right now, Russia clearly wants her oil. Viktor Orban wants Transylvania back. The greatest enemy to Romania is within. It's us. In a 2013 survey of 144 countries by the World Economic Forum, Romania ranks almost last in terms of public trust of politicians and government transparency. The question for every candidate in this election is how are you going to restore public trust and pursue policies that lift people up? Criminal amnesty for politicians, cutting down the forests like we're a third world colony, and lifting prosecution against Luke Oil is not the answer. You know what happens when you do nothing and you don't vote? Romania's natural resources that should go to teachers, doctors, and your parents' pension are stolen and end up in the pockets of politicians. Take a look at Estonia, a small former communist country with no natural resources. Teachers and doctors make twice the Romanian salaries. The president is the most important elected official in Romania because he or she represents the interest of average citizens, not the political parties. He or she is a person that protects us from political party corruption. So do something. Take courage and vote based on your conscience. And tell your parents the truth. If we don't fight for ourselves, why should America fight for us?